Hi, hi guys! First of all, this video is not sponsored. Ngayon, kailangan ko sabihin yun kasi ang dami kong i-rave. Because today, you guys, umaati ka bang lip swatch ang gagawin natin. But wait, there's more. I'm also going to do a full face makeup kasi for today's video, I'll be featuring Kaleido's Makeup. It's a Chinese brand. But you guys, ang dami nila magagandang products na may magagandang packaging. So we have eyeshadow palette, contour palette, blush, highlighter, and of course, my favorite amazing lip products. Yung lip mousse nila, oh my god, it's very different from all the lip mousse I've ever tried. Again, now, sponsored pero they were kind enough to send me their products so I could try it and syempre but naman ako mag try ng makeup without sharing it with you guys go grab a snack and we are going to start so maglalagay muna ako ng coconut oil lip treatment kasi sakto ang dami kong i-lip swatch mamaya so a lip prep would be nice wala naman siyang lasa by the way guys and Kaleidos makeup is vegan and cruelty free so I already have a little bit of foundation so the first product I want to show you guys is this one right here this is the Kaleido Symphony Contour Trio and I I have in the shade medium so this is what it looks like inside so here are the products swatched they also sent over a couple of brushes so ito na rin yung gagamitin ko I'll be using the one in the middle guys yung contour powder nakaka contour talaga siya lalo na at yung contour powder my cool tone brown you guys know I love my nose contour we got the nose contour is nose contour I'm going to use the one in the middle and I'm going to put it like snatch your nose natin. So I'm going to do my eyes now, you guys, and I have here two eyeshadow palettes. The first one is from their Smoky Nostalgia Collection, and it's in the shade Cold Brew. I'm not sure if it's warm tone or neutral, but a perfect shot for every day in my opinion. But with the shimmer, you can transform it into a nighttime look. The next palette is, I do believe, from their Alva Viva Collection. This is in the shade Venus Trap, and in my opinion, this is a cool tone palette, you guys. And this is the swatch of the palette itself. Manage Parang purpley grayish undertone. At dahil hindi ako cool tone, I'm gonna go for cold brew. I'm going to take this shade. I'm just going to apply its outer corner up to the crease. And then I'm going to take the darkest shade and apply it sa outer corner. Slowly but surely. My god, you guys, ang tagal tagal ko nang hindi nag eyeshadow. Like a full blown glam makeup look. And sayang naman yung shimmer ko hindi natin gagamitin. <gasps> That is so nice. So, I'll just put eyeliner and mascara, then I'll be back. Now, let's go to the blush, you guys. And I have three blushes right here. And I do believe this is from their Smoky Nostalgia Collection. The first one is in the shade Dream Walk. And it's like a pale rose color. At this shot, swatch the back of my hand. Can you see it? Really pale rose color. The next shade that I have is called Ecstasy. And I don't know if you can see, but it's Pinky Coral. Yep, definitely Pinky Coral. And then the last one is the boldest shade of them all, and this is called Sanguine. See how bold that is. Ang magiging register nito, guys, is red, and it's a perfect blush if you're going for a tomato girl makeup look. Pero syempre, it will depend on how you're going to apply it at kung gaano kadami yung i-apply mo sa cheeks mo. But for this look, I think I'm gonna go for a light lang, which is Dream Walk. Meron siyang matte finish, you guys. Pero ang dami kasing shade. Parang meron ako nakita doon. Meron parang shimmery yung finish. I have here the Kaleido Symphony Face Illuminator and I have two shades Peach Punch and para la siyang flesh light beige color and Moon Punch. Ito my tint of pink. I'm really curious so I want to try it first. Somewhere here over here sa gilid ng nose I honestly don't know anong naging effect kung may effect mo. For the highlighter I have the Space Age Gifted highlighter and the Star Surfer so Gifted is a silvery highlighter and it looks like this and you guys ang buttery soft all the products all the powder products super buttery feels so yeah this is Gifted and then the other one yung Star Surfer para siyang um, champagne color you know what's funny you guys this is Gifted this is a uh, Star Surfer and si Star Surfer siya pa yung parang malas silvery ang uh, undertone yeah and then si Gifted siya pa yung parang my pinky uh, undertone I feel like I'm gonna go for for Star Surfer. I'm also going to put the inner corners just a little bit. Alright guys, so we are done with my full face of makeup. Pero I 
appetizer lang yon, patikim lang yon. Eto ang main show, which is the lip swatch. These are the Kaleidos and Tame Glow Glossy Lip Glaze. Meron daw siyang vinyl like shine. So it's lightweight daw, nourishing and replenishing. Look at this packaging, you guys. And I'm not sure, pero para siyang glass or ac acrylic glass. No, glass. By the way, this is the doe foot applicator. Na medyo nakakurba para like precise or masarap pag apply sa lip. So the first shade that we have is called Skinny Dip. This is Skinny Dip swatch at the back of my hand. And it's a very nice nude shade. A little bit of peachy undertone. But I feel like it's going to complement a lot of skin tones. And I actually like it. Next shade that we have is called Elixir. This is Elixir swatch at the back of my hand. Para siyang papaya pink if you ask me. Yung pink na may konting red and orange. Honestly, buildable lip gloss siya for me. And when I say buildable, one layer lang, may kita mo pa rin yung lines ng lips mo. Pero like, very very minimal na lang. Kapag nagpatong ka pa ng isa pang layer, mas mabubura pa lalo yung lines ng lips mo. Pero like, ang gaan pa rin niya sa lips. The shade that we have is called Pink Marquise. Pink Marquise, wash the back of my hand. And it is pink. Like, it's pinkier than Elixir. Pink Marquise is also really nice. The next shade that we have is called Last Smoke. This is Last Smoke swatch at the back of my hand. And para siyang purpley brown. And this is Last Smoke on my lips, you guys. And I thought it's gonna look ugly on me with my skin tone. Pero pwede naman na. Para siyang mauve purple brown and muted. And I feel like this is going to look good. Lalo na sa mga morena. Or like yung mga deep skin tones talaga. So yeah, this is Last Smoke. Next shade is called Hot Pursuit. And this is Hot Pursuit swatch at the back of my hand. And honestly, kamukha siya ni Last Smoke. But I feel like si Hot Pursuit is more on the brown side than the purple. And this is Hot Pursuit on my lips. And yeah, medyo hawigan siya ni Last Smoke. Pero eto, it's really more on the brown side. Kaya I feel like this one complements my skin better. Pero maganda rin yung last smoke. So we are down to the last two shades and I feel like the most interesting shades, you guys. I mean, look at this. Ito to, nail polish. Unahin natin si Free Fall. This is Free Fall, you guys. And okay, it's a lipstick topper or liquid lipstick topper. You can wear this on its own if you just want to use your natural lip color but put a little bit of oomph on it or you can use it as a topper. But then you have a lipstick or liquid lipstick na gusto mong going glossy or gusto mong lagyan ng shimmer twist, go for free fall. The shade that we have is called Penthouse. This is Penthouse, you guys. Ooh. And it is a pinky magenta, like shiny shivering splendid. I don't know kung nabibigyan ng camera ng justice yung lip gloss but in person, you guys. It's like a glittery lip gloss. Pinky, glittery. I feel like this is perfect for parties, for nighttime parties. It's bordering metallic. Nisha. It's not my favorite, pero maganda siya. I swear to God, a lot of you can rock this color. Like, kita kita kasi talaga yung glitters in person. So, not my cup of tea, pero maganda. Alright, guys, so yun ang lahat ng Untamed Glow Glossy Lip Glaze. So I have here two tin cases. At ang laman sa loob ay these lippies right here. This is the Kaleidos Cloud Lab Lip Clay. So I only have eight of the, I don't know, 20 plus shades they have. I mean, look at the packaging. It's matte, velvety, and uh, smoky yung dulo. Teardrop shape applicator. I'm not sure kung like magkaibang collection sila, pero sa Lazada shop nila, you can find it in like a one category. Lahat ng shades nando na. Pero sige, unahin ko muna tong side na to. So the first shade is called Dune. So this is Dune swatch at the back of my hand. And it is a nude color with a little bit of peachy undertone. So you can use it like one layer and then Ito na siya. Now let's add another layer. And this is nude in two and a half layers. My god, very, very beautiful. And gaya nga sinabi ko kanina, para siya merong konting corally or like peachy undertone. Ngayon pa lang sinasabi ko sa inyo guys, I recommend ito. Cloud Lab Lip Clay nila. Nakikita ko pa rin yung lines ng lips ko. Pero para pa rin siyang merong blurring effect of some sort. Velvety matte finish and pag ko, it's creamy 
pero not so creamy. And you know why? Para siyang lipstick pero more powerful than a lipstick. Pag nag two layers kayo and then you let it set after some time, probably a couple of minutes, again maximum, let's just say 10 to 15 minutes. See the back of my hand? I'm not gonna say it's 100% transfer proof. I mean, kumpara sa ibang lip clay na alam mo to transfer agad or lipstick na to transfer agad, this lip clay is really powerful, really long lasting, and makapit. And ito nga oh, ngayon na ako naka experience ng lip clay na lip clay, pero parang liquid lipstick ang kapit. Ito, itong susunod, ito talaga yung dude. So, this is Adobe, this is Dune. Mukha siyang magkamuka, anong difference? Itong si Adobe is lighter compared kay Dune. Ito kasi nude peachy. Dune for me is nude brown with a little bit of red. So, this is Dune, one layer, you guys. O, diba? Mala nude brown, pero on the deeper side. And para siyang may hint of red. And you guys, ang ganda. Now, let's go for second layer. Alright guys, so this is Dune, two layers. And it's a really, really nice color. Perfect for everyday and even for nighttime. Pero syempre, merong downside, you guys. Kapag ka kumain ka, lalambot siya, saka siya magta-transfer na sa lahat ng didikitan niya. Next shade that we have, guys, is called Terra. And it's over here. And I feel like this is the closest thing to a burnt orange shade. So this is Terra, one layer. Now let's put another coat. And this is Terra Two Coats, and yes, closest thing I can describe this is burnt orange. But it has tendency to be kind of makalawang-ish. It will depend on your skin tone, kung lilitaw yung pagiging makalawang niya or not. Next batch naman tayo. First shade that we have is called Pink Moon, and it is a bright corally pink color. So this is Pink Moon One Layer, and yeah, it's a bright pink corally color, and it's really nice for every day. Lakas lang maka fresh. Now let's put on another layer. Ganda niya. It's a very beautiful, like a papaya pink, like that's like bright and really nice for daytime. Parang pag ito yung lipstick mo, nakakahapi lang, alam mo yun. So yeah, this is Pink Moon. Next shade that we have is called Bear, and it's this one right here. It's another nude shade, you guys, but I feel like the first batch natin, everything is like muted, mysterious, deep, parang ganon. And then I feel like the second batch natin, everything is bright and popping. Now let's try Bear one layer. Another your lips, but better. Pero meron siyang hint ng pink, pero hindi siya like super poppin' gaya ni uh, Pink Moon. It's like a nude pink or like a lighter pink. Yep, it is like the perfect nude shade, you guys. Medyo mala pinky siya. Also a little bit on the peachy family. The sun nude shade, like a really perfect nude shade. Next shade, you guys. Finally, narating na natin ang red, and this is called the Wild Apple. One layer of wild apple. Just so one layer, para siyang you know the classic lip tint color. Pero let's go na sa second layer. I want you guys to see this talaga. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. This is one of the most beautiful red lip color, red lip product I've ever tried. Di pa rin siya yung masasabi kong like snow white red. Kasi in person, it's like red pero haluan mo ng very very konting pink. Hindi ko lang alam kung napipick up ng camera yung nakikita ko in person. Hindi man siya snow white red pero papasa na siya as a Taylor Swift red. <laughs> but I swear to God, you guys, ang ganda-ganda niya. Tapos samahan mo pa nung um, matte finish na parang may blurring effect. Mm. Perfection. Yeah, this is wild apple. And we are down to the last shade, you guys. It is this one right here, and this is called Mercury Wave. And it's a vampy purple gray color. Well, not bad, pero it will depend on your lip color. Medyo tinted na kasi yung natural lips ko kahag ganong ko ng wet wipes. So, parang ang ganda niyang tignan, no? Tignan natin sa full pack color. Not bad, not bad at all. So, it's a vampy color, obviously. And yeah, purple gray. Ngit ka lang kasi nakakadilo siya ng ngipin. Mm mm. But it's also kind of nice. I feel like a lot of people will also love this. So yeah, this is Mercury Wave. Mmm, bugs. Mmm. Nagpalitahan ng lip color. This is Ombre of Bear and Wild Apple. Anyway, so yun na lahat ng lip swatch natin, you guys. Honestly, of all the products I've tried, ang pinaka-pinaka-pinaka, may recommend ko talaga is yung lip clay. 
Like I said, it's not 100% transfer proof. Pag kumain ka, lalo na kapag ka oily, lalambot siya and saka siya magto transfer. Pero alam mo yun, pwede mo namang i retouch, like burahin mo, put a new fresh coat. And the lip glosses, you guys, wala ko masabi sa lip gloss. I love the finish, very lightweight, buildable yung coverage niya, and. Ang ganda ganda ng packaging. All of the makeup na pinakita ko sa inyo, ang ganda ng packaging, you guys. So some of the products are quite expensive, pero I kid you not, itong lip clay and yung lip gloss, super duper worth it surprise. Honestly, lahat ng mga powder products, super smooth, silky, buttery feels. Maganda rin yung quality. Pero hindi ko masyadong ipupush sa inyo na kunin is yung illuminator. Mm, it's just a powder to me. Yung blushes, I recommend ko kasi nga it's smooth, silky, and buttery. This guy's the packaging. Come on, parang 50% of the price na sa packaging. So super worth it ng ipang regalo para dun sa mga kakilala mong mahilig sa makeup or even to yourself. For the eyeshadows, not really a fan of the color selection that I got. Pero for the price range nito, hindi ko siya masyadong mabibida because I feel like you can find eyeshadows na ma-achieve yung ganitong look or yung ganitong shade for a much affordable price. Pero, yun nga lang, hindi mo makukuha yung silky smooth buttery feel. Doon mo makikita kung bakit siya mahal because it's really different. Now, for the highlighter, to be completely honest, maganda siya, maganda yung quality, maganda yung feels, maganda yung packaging, maganda lahat. Pero kung performance, yung ganyang highlight, you can achieve it with a mas affordable na highlighter. Oh, and uh, the contour palette. Really interesting packaging. Mabigat. Kaya mahal. I also love the color selection. Really effective pag contour. 50-50 ako sa kanya kasi ang, ang sarap niya i-blend. Pero for the price range, I feel like you can also achieve this look. It's mas affordable. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. And I would like to thank Kaleidos Makeup for gifting me your product. I'm so happy I'm finally able to try Kaleidos Makeup. And I hope na enjoy din kayo, guys. So, thank you, thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye!